what is up? It is your boy, Will. Welcome back to the Skinny Survivor Channel, the best place for skinny guys to gain their first 30 pounds of muscle and go from the scrawny guy to the brawny guy as fast as possible. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you four very common mistakes uh, why skinny guys are unable to gain weight and why you're probably struggling to gain weight and you simply can't build any muscle onto your frame, okay? So before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're a skinny guy looking to bulk up as fast as possible, we've got tons of videos, meal plans, workouts, recipes, tips and tricks on how to bulk up, common mistakes to share with you and information to help you bulk up as fast as possible as a skinny guy. So make sure to subscribe. And if you've been following me for a while now, make sure after this video to click the first thing down in my description, go get yourself my free bulking plan. It's gonna show you exactly the steps that you need to take in the next 30 days to start gaining more weight. So let's get straight into today's video. So I wanna share with you four common things that I've seen in every skinny guy that struggles to gain weight and if you correct these things, you're gonna start gaining more weight, building more muscle, and you're gonna bulk up more easily, okay? So listen very, very closely. So the first thing I find with a lot of skinny guys is they're scared of gaining fat, okay? And you can't be too scared of gaining fat in the beginning stages because in the beginning stages, your main goal as a skinny guy is to bulk up, okay? It's to gain weight, it's to build more muscle, but also in the process, you're gonna gain a little bit of fat, okay? It's very, very difficult for you to gain pure muscle and gain zero fat, okay? Unless you're very, very lean to begin with, which is great for you, you've got great genetics to start with. When I was uh, starting out my journey, I was skinny fat. So it was very hard for me to build muscle, gain weight, without gaining a little bit of fat, okay? It's okay to gain a little bit of fat because later on, you're gonna be able to cut it off in the cutting phase, okay? So don't be scared of gaining a little bit of fat. Understand that it's gonna be a, a process where you have to gain a little bit of fat, but first things first, you just wanna fill out your shirts. You just wanna gain some weight. You wanna build some muscle. You wanna look bigger in your shirts, okay? You don't wanna look skinny. That's the number one goal you, you have to start with, okay? You can't set uh, you know crazy goals like ultimately transform into Chris Hemsworth in three weeks. It's not gonna happen, okay? You have to set goals. And your first goal is to simply Fill out your sleeves, okay? Put a little bit of mass onto your body, on your frame, okay? Then later on, you can chisel that fat off and you can build a lean muscular physique. But again, it takes time. So the first thing is don't be afraid of gaining some fat during your bulking process. It's natural to gain a little bit of fat during the bulking process. You can always cut that fat off later, okay? Second thing, okay? I find with a lot of skinny guys who aren't unable to gain weight is they're very, very lazy with eating, okay? Again, laziness does not serve you in any area of life, any goal of life. You're gonna, not gonna achieve your muscular physique by being lazy. So you cannot be lazy with your eating. You have to be consistent with your meals, okay? You have to track your calories and macronutrients. I have a calculator down below to get started, but do not be lazy with your diet because diet is just as important as, as your training program, your workouts if not more important, okay? Especially if you're trying to bulk up, you have to be proactive in getting down those calories, making sure you're eating enough calories every day to be in a calorie surplus, plus your training, and that's gonna get you results. Third thing, I see a lot of skinny guys, they don't weigh themselves daily, okay? So how are you gonna measure your progress? How are you gonna track whether or not you're actually gaining weight? or you're building more muscle, or you're making progress in general, if you're not tracking or measuring your results, okay? So first things first, you need to start weighing yourself daily, okay? So what I do is I weigh myself in the morning, in my undies, after I've urinated, every single day the same, okay? Track my weights, write it down in a notebook or track it on MyFitnessPal, and then you're gonna basically take all your weekly weights, okay? Seven weekly weights, you're gonna add them together, divide it by seven, and you're gonna get your weekly average. So the goal is to increase your weekly averages every single week. So if I compare my week one to week two, I'm aiming for at least half a pound to one pound per week of weight increase, okay? So especially at the beginning, you can be a little bit more aggressive. You know, even one pound per week is fine if you're a naturally skinny guy, okay? So make sure you're tracking your weight, make sure you're actually setting goals for yourself, you know, half a pound, one pound per week, tracking those weights, 
And again, if you're not seeing any progress, you're gonna have to adjust your calories. Now, if you want an easy way to do this, we've got a coaching program for you where we adjust your calories on a weekly basis and automatically calculate how many calories you actually need to eat every single week. We build out your meals for you with customized meal plans with your favorite foods and also workouts customized to your body type. So if you're interested in that, it's down in the links below, you can apply for the program. But again, make sure to weigh yourself daily and make sure you're tracking your progress, make sure you're actually tracking everything and measuring your weights. Last thing, okay? This is a mindset thing, and I find a lot of skinny guys, they really struggle with the mindset side, okay? If you don't have a good mindset, you're not gonna get good results. You need a great mindset to get great results. And I see the main problem is, lots of skinny guys, they always blame, blame, and make excuses, okay? The main thing is that they blame their metabolism. Listen, we're all skinny guys, and we all have fast metabolisms, so why is it that some skinny guys, you know, get results? Why is it that some skinny guys transform their body? Why is it? Why was I able to transform my body, compete on a fitness model stage? It's a national fitness model, and also put on a ton of muscle and completely transform my body, okay? It wasn't because my metabolism was slower than the rest. In fact, my metabolism was as fast as yours, okay? If not, maybe faster, okay? But it doesn't matter, okay? What matters is your mindset is good and you have to get over those obstacles, okay? so. Here's the difference. Skinny guys who never get results, they always say, oh, my, my metabolism is too quick. And they let that become an obstacle. They let that basically stop them from achieving their goals. Now, the guys who get over that obstacle are the ones who ends up succeeding, ends up building more muscle, and they simply reframe it, okay? They say, yes, my metabolism is fast, but it doesn't matter because I'm so driven, I'm gonna achieve my goals anyway, okay? I'm gonna find a way to win, I'm gonna find a way to eat enough calories so I can counteract that metabolism and thus I will still gain weight, still build muscle, still build my dream body. So you have to shift your thinking. Start thinking like a guy who is gonna get results. Start thinking like a guy who doesn't care about the metabolism and will do it and get results anyway. So. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out all the other videos on this channel and get these four things right. You're gonna start building more muscle. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.